traffic signals. We love and hate them. They can provide a safe passage, but we really only like to see the green light. In Sertorumbos, you do get to see that green light very quickly. Just getting near the lights already seems to turn them green for you. Some people push the reassurance button, but that's not even really necessary. How can this be? It is because there are detection loops well ahead of the intersections. Cyclists are detected early, so the lights can change for them. The first loop is at 25 meters. If the traffic situation allows it, you will have a green light before you even reach the second loop. You can get green so quickly because phases are kept as short as possible. If there's only one vehicle, the green time is just four seconds. Not only for a car, but also for a cyclist. If more vehicles were detected, the light stays green longer. Just long enough to let the last vehicle pass through the yellow light. If necessary and possible, the green time can be very long indeed. Also for cycling. Buses directly influence the lights. When they are on time or running late, they get a green light as quickly as possible. If they are too early, even buses have to wait. Waiting times increase when there is a lot of other traffic, and especially when there is a bus. This young man is a bit unlucky but he waits decently. The waiting time indicator is an extra incentive to wait. Not everybody is that patient. But look how silly it is to run a red light just before it turns green. Some motorists are just as bad. Sato Hombos has a unique countdown for motorists. The quicker the cars start, the quicker the junction is clear again, which means shorter waiting times for cycling. All this leads to helpful traffic signals, so people can make safe and quick crossings, without being annoyed by long waiting times.